What is the grand vision for Ezra? Um, now people have gotten a little view for you. What is that grand vision and how do you roll that to your people to get them bought into that? Yeah. So our, our mission from day one was very, very clear, which is to detect cancer early for everyone in the world. That's why I started the company. That's my kind of personal ambition. I see myself working on Ezra for the rest of my career and trying to uh, bring that mission to uh, reality. The strategy to achieve the mission from day one was build a, a, a high-end product, like our full body MRI initially priced at $2,000, 60 minutes, uh, to help people screen for cancer. Use the success of that to launch a cheaper product. Uh, that's our 30 minute scan that we launched a few weeks ago. That's 1350. And then use the success of that to build a 10 minute full body MRI that costs $500 that's reimbursed by uh, insurance. And that's kind of the, we're now at the phase where we're working on that $500 scan. And then ultimately we hope to be able to get insurance reimbursement and by doing that, uh, enabling everyone in the country to get scanned. So the five cities in here, you got Miami, New York, uh, Los Angeles. San Francisco, San LA, and Vegas. And San Francisco, LA, and Vegas. So you've got, so if people are leaving California and driving through Vegas, they could do that. But what, yep. what is the profile of the best patient? So if somebody's watching you right now and say, this is really interesting, and they're a very healthy 25-year-old, but they've got aunts and uncles, moms, dads, grandparents, what is the profile of a person that you believe should get the scan so it can be part of your medical record and useful not only to you, but your primary care physician as you just go through your checkups and you're going through life, but you want to add this the same way you track your cholesterol and your triglycerides every time you go. What is the profile and what is the timing where it's best to do this and then add it to your medical records for the rest of your, your, your primary care physician to, to do yeah. and, and to be useful to them in guidance? Yeah, so we think that starting the age of 40, 45, uh, the, the latest, uh, people should be doing an, an annual full body MRI to uh, give themselves the best chance to detect cancer early. And uh, that said, I actually think it's really important for younger people to at least get a baseline scan, like get a, a full body MRI age 35, even though your risk might be lower for cancer at that age, it then gives you a a scan to compare with when you start doing annual scans um, right. at the starting age of 40. And that comparison, in, in our case, we use AIs to support that comparison. It's really, really important because it helps increase the probability that we'll find things really, really early because you can monitor the body longitudinally over time, which increases the um, sensitivity of the scan because we can, we can detect minute changes that might not be visible in a single uh, exam. That, that makes a lot of sense. It's similar to men. They say, hey, you know, in your mid-30s, have a PSA test. When you're doing a standard blood panel for triglycerides, you know, um, um, cholesterol, just the normal things that you're doing, uh, you know, a simple, you know, blood and urine test that you do with a uh, annual physical, ask for the PSA panel and make yourself a baseline. As people say, your PSA could be six or seven, and you say, that's high. Well, no, maybe yours is six or seven for years, but all of a sudden it jumps to 12. Now that difference is the flag, the warning sign for potential prostate cancer in men. Um, yes. So you, you need a blood baseline. My baseline was always two, three. And so I knew that was my baseline, but my doctor explained to me that my baseline could be eight. It could be nine, but that, it stays that way, but knowing what your baseline is is critical. So when that changes, that's your flag for some advanced um, testing and diagnosis. Yeah. So you're looking at it from that same way that if you're in your 30s and it's it's with your your insurance will cover it or you can cover it and you get to the next stage. I think it was the third stage you said with your company where it's $500 full body scan. And now you can put that on file, say, hey, doc, here's a full body scan along with a little bit of AI analysis that I had done. Add this to my to my medical records. So now you can you have a baseline. You're you're approaching it in that yes. same way. Absolutely. And, you know, because you mentioned uh, prostate, actually, very important to note is in prostate, the typical um, uh, way you get screened right now is you do a PSA and if your PSA is elevated and kind of 
significantly elevated, uh, they send you for a prostate biopsy. And then kind of they poke your prostate at random in like 13 different locations in order to um, uh, kind of hope to find uh, a lesion. There's a better way, which is you pair a PSA with a prostate MRI. And that means that you can monitor your prostate, not just from a biomarker standpoint, but from an anatomical standpoint, which increases your chances of finding early stage prostate cancer uh, even, even better. And then with prostate cancer, a lot of cancers are actually very slow growing. And yep. uh, there's a new kind of wave of, of uh, research that shows that a lot of prostate cancer should just be monitored. However, you don't really have easy ways to monitor them without companies like Ezra, where you can do a prostate MRI every year, mm -hmm. uh, to see how your lesion in the prostate is progressing and whether it is accelerating in its growth, which would then indicate that it should be uh, treated. Got it. Really helpful. So it's simple. Give us the website address. Is Ezra? It's Ezra.com. Ezra.com. Yep. And when it comes to early detection cancer, there's nothing better than Ezra.